Lexi here. So today we are making some delicious treats to cool you off this summer. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> In the corner of my eye, I see it. Oh. We are using yeah. chalk down this summer. Is that what she said? I said delicious. So we're gonna make two desserts. We are gonna make one an ice cream sandwich, and then we're also gonna make a sundae, but they're both gonna use a uh, magic shell topping, and it's gonna be great and fabulous and so delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna make the magic shell topping from scratch, but you can buy it if you want, but it's more fun to make it from scratch, and it's a little bit of a healthier option. So you need a microwavable safe bowl. You're gonna want one cup of chocolate chips. I um, am using dark chocolate chips, but it doesn't matter. If you have milk chocolate at home, you could use that too. You need three tablespoons of coconut oil. I just get shavings. If your coconut oil is too uh, hard, just put it in the microwave for a couple seconds. Okay. Once you have your three tablespoons of coconut oil in there, we are going to microwave it for 30 second intervals until it's all melted, and then you just mix it up. Mix, mix, baby. <laughs> now, once this is melted, I took out my ice cream. I'm going to make the ice cream sandwich. So we are using Pepperidge Farm uh, chocolate chip cookies, but you, of course you could use any cookie you want. You can make them, or Pepperidge Farm actually has a whole bunch of different flavors. So, do you. Pick whatever you'd like. Okay, so I put one scoop of ice cream in between the two cookies, and then you could use a knife. Gentle, these cookies are very soft. You can use a knife to kind of smooth out the corners to make it pretty. Okay, and then you wanna put this on a cookie sheet, because we have to freeze them first before we can dip them in the chocolate. Or it will be a big fat mess. I just put the ice cream sandwiches into the freezer, so now we're gonna make our sundae. I'm not sure why I'm waving my knife at you, but it's been a long day. So, I chose to do a waffle cone bowl because it's just more fun that way. So, do a scoop, however many scoops you'd like. I'm gonna do two. So, it's pretty. Okay, now once your ice cream is scooped, we're gonna pour some magic shell on top of it. And then before it dries, I'm gonna put some rainbow sprinkles on it just so it looks extra cute. Ta da! All right, now back to our ice cream sandwiches. So, once your ice cream sandwiches are frozen, um, you want to take it. We're gonna dip it into our magic shell. I'm just dipping half of it. And same thing, take some sprinkles. Now you wanna do this before it gets hard for obvious reasons, it just won't stick. All right, so if you put your leftover magic shell into a dish and then you can store it in a pantry or a cupboard, it'll be fine. Just don't store it in the fridge because it's gonna get hard and then you can't use it anymore. So, here you go. And here we have it, our magic shell desserts with our ice cream sandwiches and our sundae. So it's kind of hard to see, but what magic shell does, if you don't already know, when you pour it on and it hits the cold um, ice cream or the cold cookie, it gets hard. So then it's not all messy anymore and it's kind of a cool little experiment. So yeah, there it is and it's really fun for you and your friends to do over summer and really simple for you kids to do all by yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below what you'd like to see next. See you next video.